Hi Sunshines, welcome back to our channel Mac Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And in today's video we are back with another hair tutorial and product review. The brand that is up today is? The brand is Mael. And we reviewed this a few months ago but we did the original line and now we are bringing to you the pomegranate and honey line right here. Mm. So the line consists of, is it four products or is there more? We have four here on the table. Um, I'm not quite sure how many products are in line. We have four. I believe mm. I believe there's four. Don't quote me. Um, but, <laughs> but we're using two. And we're using two because it's the, our choice. And number two, we're just kind of trying to show you that though lines might have a lot of things in the line, you have to kind of pick and choose the things that are suitable for your hair type. Yes. And so... Um, so we kind of got introduced to, if you watched like our other video, we kind of went through the story a little bit, how we got introduced to Mayel. But if you haven't seen that one, we'll kind of go through it again. We went to New York Fashion Week, the Texture on the Runway show, and they had a booth and they had the Mayel products. They actually had this brand new line here. Um, and you were interested in looking at the line a little bit. But mm -hmm. there, that they stressed that these products were for um, naturals with like type 4 hair. Um, but on their... Instagram and like their website they don't they don't stress that as much they say it's for anybody like you can't go wrong with pomegranate and honey yeah. so at that point when they stressed that we kind of like skipped over it and saw what else they had in their line so that's why we did that other video first yeah. using their original line mm -hmm. but now we are going back to the new line we left the show with the leave-in they yes. gave us and we left with the twisting the souffle, souffle is the one that I have okay so we left with these two products but this felt a little heavy and we didn't want to use this without getting the is it the custard that the we have custard. today? Yeah. So um, we had to save up the money for it. Stuff's yeah. expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Not just this line in particular, but yeah. you know, it's just it just gets costly after yeah. a while. So we just put that to the side, mm -hmm. did other things, and finally we got the custard. Yes. As an honorable mention, I did wash and go the twisting souffle with the leave-in, and I got a a wash and go like it was okay it was okay I just always had in my mind that the custard would be better I'm more impressed with the custard um, mm -hmm. for wash and goes which is what we do we don't do twist outs or braid outs and stuff like let's that let's just show the consistency yeah. this is the um, souffle so see it just kind of it's like a cream it's oh like a, yeah it's very it's, very it's like a thick cream it's very and then the custard thick. is watery okay it's very very thick this is the souffle and the custard is like jelly okay and then there is the leave-in, and there's also the curl smoothie, which we have, but we haven't really done anything with it yet. If you have any suggestions on how you how to use the curl smoothie or how you like to use it, let us know. We haven't done anything with the curl smoothie yet. So, if you would like to see our Mayel Pomegranate and Honey Wash and Go, then... Please keep watching. Please keep watching. So, first things first, water. <laughs> and our handy-dandy spray bottles. We're gonna have to go out. We have to. I have to go out and get some microfiber towels to start matching my outfits, and we need some water bottles. I know. I could have sworn. Did you say that today, or was I sleeping? I don't know. I said but, it today. Okay. I know you were like, we. I need microfiber towels, and you came in <laughs> with like this huge like pile of microfiber towels, I did. In different colors. I know. Like we color coordinate every single thing. Every single thing matters. It's just microfiber my thing. towels. Like everything matters. I'm just so anal with it. It's just my thing. I know I had all different shades of pink for my towel. Oh, so funny. <laughs> you had dark pink, light pink, medium pink, baby pink, pink I did. with polka dots, I did. pink with stripes. So funny. And if you guys saw our video the other day on Makeup Monday of the lipstick swatches that or the lipsticks that we wear, everybody, well not everybody, I hate that word everybody. It's, <laughs> it's not like every It totally person. can't be everybody. Everybody can't, it can't be everyone. But um, Quite a few comments came in that they liked Lorianne's last lipstick. Ta-da! I'm wearing it today. Oh, you are! Oh, it's pretty! Yes. What was it again? It was the... And here we go. Now we're going to start the controversy. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Before we get into that, we didn't say what we could wash our hair with. Oh, okay. Um, so today I washed my hair with, I was again testing some new products. I washed my hair with the Shea Moisture, the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Co-Wash. Um, Issa, no. I'll just say that, but that's, okay. we'll get into that in another video, that's not this video, but um, that's what I washed my hair with today. What did you wash your hair And I was still on my clarifying cake, so I found, or you found and produced it, my As I Am Clarifying Shampoo, so I clarified, and again, moisturized with the Carol's Daughter Almond Mask. I go from feast to famine, yes. from famine to feast, so now I'm feasting again on um, my deep conditioners, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, that's what I washed with the clarifying shampoo. Yes. 
and I and I liked it better than I did the first time. One time I felt like it was really, really, really so clarified that it almost stripped. Mm -hmm. But no, today it was it was nice. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I conditioned my hair and did a deep condition as well with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hair Mask, the new hair mask. That's also kind of eh, mm -hmm. but we'll get into that in another video. Okay. okay. <laughs> so back to what you were saying. Oh, so back. So all right. So we're first going in with leave-ins. Leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner. Okay. Okay. So it's the so, Tardis lipstick. So so it's the Tardis lipstick, and I said, oh my goodness, and I'm gonna have the. Actually, when I started hearing the controversy online, this feels so good. I said, oh this. my goodness, um, I had that as my last lipstick, but I'm tired of being afraid of things like these things happen. We, we use these things. Yeah. Okay. It was in the house, and I didn't know if Tardis was gonna be crazy and do something so insensitive yeah. to people. If you guys don't so. know, they, they put out foundations with like no color range for people of color at all. So that's the controversy right now. Yeah. I don't know how they could following behind Fenty. Yes, Fenty um, is the benchmark now. And I don't know how any company could come out with foundations now and compete anymore. There's just, the, the competition is over. Like, unless you come out with at least 40. 40. At least. At least 40. Mm -hmm. Like, no one's checking for you anymore. Yeah. So, they came out with that horrible range, and people feel kind of like, well, if you're light, like I would be light, Taylor would be considered kind of like medium. Mm -hmm. um, what are you complaining about because your color was in there? Not necessarily because the undertones, mm -hmm. okay, um, Women of color have different undertones, so it might have my shade in there, uh, but I don't want to be pink. Yeah, you know, I we have golden undertones. undertones. Yeah. yeah, so they didn't look like they had any warm undertones. And just the names, I gravitate away from those things in the store when I see fair, light. Beige. Yeah, I always look for the W. I always go yeah. whether it's Lancome, whether it's NARS. I always look for those W's yeah. or those colors that have that warm, that gold undertone that golden but undertone it was pretty upsetting because um i love the tarte shape shape tape concealer and so i was looking forward to their foundations and you know you love their lipsticks and mm -hmm. it's just like wow you know yeah it's kind of like a, a slap in the face and a little bit there like you know you have to all we have to all stick together you know there's strength in numbers and mm -hmm. so you stick together so though if they did they don't but say if they did have my shade range well they might not have a shade range of family members that I care about. Yeah. And so we all go shopping at the mall. Now I go off to their counter and then my family members just sitting there looking pitiful because they don't have their shade. It's not fair. And I don't yeah, like that at all. Cool. So, no. Nope. At all. And so I thought that they really meant business. If they yeah. really were about making it right, what I think is that the shades that they claim they're going to make, 10 more new ones on the on the assembly line that will be out very shortly because we were all afterthoughts. I think that if your shade is in the new 10... Um, shades, mm -hmm. yeah. They need to send you a coupon so you can go to the store and get that for free. Free if ninety nine. They really mean about. They really mean. They're so yep. sorry. Let those that were left out the first time around get a coupon mm -hmm. and go to the store or send to the company or whatever is your convenience, wherever they'll be carrying it, probably Ulta, and they will do that. Now they've got to find a way to probably stop maybe fraudulent activity like people sending it to a million different addresses and all that. After a while that gets old, that kind of stuff, when you try to beat the system. Just go on and get one foundation and, and carry on. Yeah. You know, but I think that that would be only right because money talks. It sure does. You know, so people are like, it's too late, it's too late. I bet you it wouldn't be too late if they did that. If they said, here, these are coupons, take this to the store. We are terribly sorry for what we did. You were not an afterthought. And that the Bible says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So those that were last will now be first. With free product. Yeah, they'll recognize free you Free full now. size. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Back to the product. Um, <laughs> it has amazing slip. Yes. I leave Very it. Very nice slip. My hair is shiny. I was reading on the packaging because I find it interesting like that it's pomegranate and honey. Mm -hmm. And it says that on the packaging that the pomegranate smoothest frit, smooth, ah, smooths frizz and um it helps detangle and moisturize your hair so my hair is feeling very moisturized and it's just yeah. like gliding through the hair really well and then the honey also um moisturizes your hair and like it's a great conditioner mm -hmm. so it's like a great combination and it smells amazing it smells like sour patch kids to me it smells so good I never ate that so i wouldn't know no sour patch kids no it smells good though. okay you're still working on the um, um the i am ready to go in with the custard okay i think i am too okay let me just section my hair one more time. Mm -hmm. Make sure I get these uh these ends. Got this little piece of hair hanging here, hanging out. All right. This is what I've been really excited for is the custard. I'm really into custards yes. right now. You really did search for it and found it. I don't think it's is it in the store? 
I don't know. If, is this line in the store? Um, I think it's in Sally's. I think oh, if, if you can find it, I know it's sold out on their website currently. I bought mine from House of Beauty. I love House of Beauty. Because okay. <laughs> they always have like a 20% off coupon. But then they also raise their prices a little bit. So I see y'all House of Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, House of Beauty just gives things away. They do. Yeah. They do. In a way. In a way. So the curling custard is next. Ooh. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. See? Nice. <laughs> okay. It's cool. So All that's right. definitely different from the souffle. Mm hmm. The yeah, souffle the souffle is like definitely a white, like a big cream. cream. Yeah. yeah. Glides in. Glides in. Very much so. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, with this, I definitely don't think you need a lot again because my <laughs> hair is already like feeling like it has some type of like gel like substance yes. in it yeah already it went from kind of soft with the leave-in to feeling like it has some type of gel in it now yeah but this fine. is supposed to add shine i can definitely see that yes, already i do an incredible slip yeah Smells very good. I like more fruity smelling things. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't like floral things. Floral, natural yeah. smelling. I things. love bakery smelling things and fruity smelling things. Like I love those Carol's daughter masks because they smell very. Well, the clay was the last one. Smells a little strange, but the almond one smells so good. It smells just like almond. It smells just like an almond cookie. I tried. <laughs> I looked at the milk one. Um, it smells like it an smells kind cookie. of floral, like more like roses. I don't care mm -hmm. for the rose scent. So I'm kind of just like picking it up just like a little bit. I like it because it's heavy and it's hanging heavy, so therefore it'll... It's I like elongation see, properties yes, in it. Yes. yes. Does it say that on there? Um, no. But okay. I can always tell when a product's going to elongate. Mm -hmm. Oops. Which I like elongation to an extent. Too much elongation like stretches my curl out too much. Mm -hmm. That's not what I look for, but that's what some other folk may look for. We all ain't looking for the same thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I'm looking for um, elongation because mm -hmm. it's been giving me length, and you guys have been noticing it. Yeah, our hair is growing like crazy. Yes. Seemed like January hit, and it just picked up. I know. It, it, I think it goes in spurts, hair growth. I'm sure it does. I'm sure mm -hmm. I read enough about it that I read that someplace. It does grow in spurts. Oh, my hair looks really good. Very shiny. Mm-hmm. Very, very shiny. Yes. Right. And then if I'm very purposeful and just kind of like pulling it down and really making sure every last strand this is put on. Get my bang, my bangage. <laughs> Your bangage. <laughs> Where'd you get that word? I on? have no <laughs> idea. I just kind of, I just make stuff up. Like, my mom's hair, I call grapules, and I don't know if that's actually a word out there. I googled it, and it's not, like, it sounds like it could be Spanish to me. I'm like, that's, uh, that's like curly hair in Spanish, and it's totally not, but I just call her hair grapules, and I made it up, but I don't really know if it's a word. I hope not. I hope I'm not saying nothing crazy, a different language. I know. <laughs> I really thought, because in, in our family, my mother used to call my hair grapes. Because you know how like on the, on the nape of your neck, your hair kind of gets, it draws up when it's curly hair and it just kind of like sits there. So she said, bring them grapes over here so she could do them back in the straightening days, okay? And so um, then, I guess you remember that word, maybe I said it to you or something. But then one day you you would grab my hair and you like grapple I thought it was like a, a word for grapes, like another <laughs> language of grapes. And then one day she said it was absolutely an imaginary word. It was word. totally made up, yeah. the word. And I'm like, are you serious? I really thought you were speaking another language. Like, what language? I didn't know, but I would respond to it. I'm like, yeah. When I said grapple you knew what it meant. You knew what meant your I hair. I know. I knew what meant, meant your hair. Oops, is that me? Is that what, what it used to be like when people used to have like... Yeah, like in the movie Coming to America, yeah. they're all sitting on the front. Yeah, <laughs> Jerry Curl. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which my hair looks like it's very shiny, like a Jerry Curl right now. I know. Um, it feels like I can't wait to see it dry now. Okay, so we are going to let our hair air dry a little bit in the house. Maybe sit in front of a fan or mm -hmm. diffuse. We are going to go do something. This is my grapple lace right there. Grapple lace. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> well, look at this one. This one, mm -hmm. this one's nice. You can see that one? That's a nice curl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. We're going to go let our hair air dry and we'll be back to show you these results soon. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> and we are back. These are our results. Hair's dry. So we were saying that right off the bat that with these products, at least for like our experience with them, that if you're looking for a product to elongate your curls, this is not the one. This is not the one. This will give you extreme curl definition. Yeah, and, but it doesn't like, mean that it's a failure. Mm -hmm. This just means that there's different products out there for different looks. And I am so tired of the natural world thinking that length is everything. No offense. <laughs> As I always say before, the people really go in when they really want to say something. No, but seriously, length is not everything. It's the cute look. I used to have shoulder length hair, and I think this is far cuter for my age or for any age. I think short um, hair is very, very cute. And so this is cute. I mean, the other day, the other products that we had, those were great results. But I don't want anyone to compare like, oh, with that, with the main choice, it was great. Or, you know, with Cream of Nature, it was great. Just because I showed some length, this is cute. Mm -hmm. This is extreme curl definition. Your curls are so... the curl definition. Yeah, okay, hold on. Give it, you get your head. <laughs> very, very defined. No frizz. Yeah. Which it says. It says, like, it won't give you frizz, moisturize your curls. Like, your curls yeah. feel really nice, and mm -hmm. they're very defined. Very defined. Mine as well. And with defined curls, for me, mean they shrink up. So my bangs are basically baby hairs right, right mm. now. <laughs> they're, my bangs are very short. Um, but it's... It's um it's defined curls. My all mm -hmm. my curls are curled up to their tightest they can be. They're very defined, which for me is not good on day one, but day two, three, four, as it goes on, my curl pattern loosens and I get more days out of my yeah. wash and go. So I don't mind tight curls on the first day because I know as the days go on, they're gonna loosen and I get days from it. So it dries with yeah. a cast, which yes. we like because that means that you could get two or three days from mm -hmm. it as we are starting to see. Whereas what was oh Talia Wahid, um, it didn't dry with the cast, it was very, very light. So even hours later when we kinda wanted to do what kind of the, our makeup look um for Monday, Taylor's like, Can you preserve your curls? And I'm like, eh, I don't think so. They're yeah, the, yeah very... the next day they were they were a little bit flat. So if yeah. you wanted a quick bomb, one and done you know, for an event, something quick. Yeah, that's your product. Yes. Um, anything lasting longer than that? Probably this not. This is your product because these are gonna loosen but. up as the days go on. Yeah. yeah. This is cute. so. This is this is very cute. I mm -hmm. really like this. I this like is it. Nice. It's very very cute. I like it. Yeah, it's it's different. And like like you said, you can't compare products to other products because pro all different products gonna give you different results. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're looking for defined curls, no frizz, days out of your wash and go, then. This is your line, the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey. We use the leave-in and the curling custard for yes. these results. And we did check while we were waiting for our hair to dry, and there are only four, four. products in the line. Hold up the other two products that are in this line. This one and this one. So these are the four products that this is it. are in this line right yes. here. And they yeah. range on the Mayo website from, I believe the on the website, the custard is $11.99. The rest of the three products are $12.99. So, so that's yeah. it. So yes, we tried this, we liked it, and these we'll are the reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely use them again because it'll it'll last us for a few mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. So let us know what you guys think about our wash and go. Let us know what you think about the Mayel line. If you've used it, if you love it, if you hate it, let us know. Um, talk to us. We love chatting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um and I think that's Down it. Down in the comments. Down in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for watching our channel. And we... See you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. Bye-bye. Hi, Sunshine. I came back really fast with this clip to show you what my hair looks like with this Maya Wash & Go Day 3. Um, I was editing the video and we hadn't put it up yet and it just happens to be Day 3. So I am just here to show you what it looks like because if you see in the clip... Uh, my day one, my hair is crunchy, it's short, but I said that it gets better as the days go on. And so I really didn't like it day one, but on day two and now day three, my hair, in my opinion, is getting better. Uh, it lasts because there was such a hold on the first day that every day the cast just keeps breaking more and more um, because of that custard. So this is day three. I'm a fan. And how I refresh it every day is I just... Uh, sleep with it in a high ponytail of pineapple. I take it down and I've been spraying the cream of nature coconut milk uh, detangling and conditioning con <laughs> conditioning leave-in conditioner. I just spray that all over my hair just for some moisture and shake it out but because there was such a cast on my hair from the wash and go that um, 
it really held my curls in the definition so these are the results um my partner in crime Lori Ann is not here with me because she washed her hair the second day and um her hair is ready for bed right now but before I upload this video I just wanted to insert this clip to show you guys what my hair looks like on day three and how it's really tight on day one but as the days go on it gets looser and in my opinion it gets better so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in our next video bye